Welcome back to CSD Claudio here. So in this video, I'm going to show you a setup that is three-phase microgrid with Fronus and of course has 100 kilowatts hour of storage into a DIY battery pack from Hyundai module. So let's get started. Nice to have you back at CSA Cloud you here. So let me explain you about this new setup. Basically, I'm gonna start with the inverters because we are living in Europe. We have three phase systems. So we installed three inverters from Victron, each one for one phase. And of course they are configured into a three phase system. And as you can see over here, we have huge inverters. This one are multiples to uh, 10,000. Basically they have an output around eight kilowatts. So we have uh, 24 kilowatts for these three. And I'm gonna show you something very special over here because I want to keep in mind, it's one 140 amps. Basically this inverter has built in a charger from AC and can charge the battery even from grid and of course even from other source. We don't want to charge the battery from grid, we want to charge from another source. So we install a Fronius over here. This one is a 12 kilowatts Fronius and basically it's an AC inverter, an on-grid inverter, three phases. And as you know, when the grid is down, this inverter also will be down. In order to prevent that, we made a microgrid connection. So we connect the Fronius on the output of the Victron. And of course, when the grid is down, Victron will generate the grid and Fronius will stay on and act as a normal inverter. He will, will not know the grid is down. Because this house has, run, has huge consumption and we need more power, we add some separate MPPTs. As you can see over here, we add the 450 uh, MPPT RS from Victron. And as you can see, it has 200 amps output power. And into the bottom, we add another two small inverter from Victron, uh, MPPT from Victron, sorry. This one has 250 PV, uh, volts PV in, and of course around 100 amps. So we have 100, 200, 400 amps only from MPPTs. And of course, the rest of the power will come from this Fronius. Let me show you the distribution box and the control unit. And as you can see over here for control unit, we have a Necrono from Victron. This one manage the Victron and also can manage the Fronius. So everything is connected over here. You can see the Fronius on the bottom and of course all the MPPTs from Victron. And the batteries are fully charged around 98%. As you can see, we feed energy to the grid because the battery are fully charged. And of course the home, home consumption is uh, already filled. Now on to the back end, we have the connection cable from Ecrano, this one go to MPPTs, go to BMSs, go to uh, Fronius and everything is connected over here. And let me show you the AC distribution box. Basically it's very, very simple, but let me explain a few words. So we have a master switch. This one allows us to switch between solar and grid basically when something happened with our solar where uh, and i don't know we need to make the maintenance or something we just switch to the grid and of course this one will by bypass the entire solar system and the entire house will be connected to the grid so we select a manual one because if something happened we want to switch manually we don't want to move automatically because we don't want <laughs> Now, let's talk about Fronius switch. As you can see over here, we have the protection for, from Fronius and we also add the switch. This one has also three position, uh, give us possibility to move Fronius on AC out. So basically when the switch is uh, in this position, the Fronius is into a microgrid connection. And if you move this switch down, the Fronius will become an on-grid inverter. So when the grid will be down, also the Fronius will be down. Basically, we have protection, input Victron, output Victron, and of course, we have some distribution blocks over here in order to uh, switch all these uh, energy fluxes. Now, let me show you the DC distribution system. This one was not made by us, but it's quite simple. Uh, there are two bus bars. We, they are negative and positive, and on the positive, as you can see over here, there are some fuses and each cable go to separate dev device. So we have a protection over here. And on the top, we have the fuses for solar module. Also, we have the another AC distribution system. Basically, we have the grid, we, we have the Victron input and Victron output. So everything is connected to this uh, AC distribution system. And of course, over here, we also have some switches that give us the possibility to move some devices on grid and on solar. I'm going to explain to you in another video 
uh, how we move and why we move. Now let's move to batteries because this is the piece of the resistance of this system. Basically, this is a DII battery module. There are three uh, separate batteries, as you can see, one, two, three. Each one has around 33 kilowatts hour of storage. They have a BMS from Steplos. As you can see, this is a master and of course uh, that one are slave. So they are communicate together and the entire capacity is connected to Victron. So here are battery from electric car from Hyundai Kona. Let me show you how battery look inside because we removed the case in order to show you. So we have 30 kilowatts hour and of course we have here a system that will manage the entire battery. So what do, what do you think about this system that has 40 kilowatts hour in PV panel, 100 kilowatts hour in storage and of course a huge amount of inverter power from these devices connected together from Fronus and Victra. So write us in the comments what do you think and if you consider to subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this don't hesitate hit the bell hit the subscribe button and sorry for my english i'm not a native english speaker so i try my best to explain all this technical stuff in english i'm claudio from the cs tech and see you in the next one bye